We are recording. Okay. Peter Bertrand, what is an academy? Good question. Um, my name is Peter Bertrand. Um, I'm an architect uh, educator at the, um, the Royal Danish Academy of Fine Arts uh, School of Architecture in Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, and the presentation, as um, you just said, uh, was an academy. Um, I've, um, I've done a number of um, artistic research projects uh, over the last uh, couple of years. Um, they all uh, somehow combine uh, the actual making of uh, architectural drawings, models, uh, and some form of uh, written uh, reflection. Um, and I think the uh, kind of general uh, figure or way of understanding that um, is uh, with, with some reference to the uh, Lewis uh, Foucault book, in which he talked about this, um, this uh, fundamental difference between the visible and the articulable. Uh, and um, this idea that the um, that the, uh, the the making of drawings and models constitute a, a kind of separate material domain on one hand, and the writing, the articulable, constitutes a, a another material domain, um, and that the difference between them is obviously not a kind of negative, uh, but it is simply productive. In other words, uh, the whole idea is. And, uh, that it's not about constructing a kind of middle form, but it's rather about uh, understanding how they become productive to each other. Uh, in that sense, um, I think that's quite important because I think it's, um, I'm not too fond of the idea that you would, it, it would be about, for instance, explaining what you're doing or illuminating what you're doing or perhaps uh, describing uh, what you're doing. Uh, it, on the other hand, it wouldn't your, your own work would not be about executing ideas uh, that you've conceived in the articulable uh, domain. Um, I think they, uh, it's rather about uh, positioning them uh, in different ways uh, so that they become productive in their own field. I think a, a, um, one way of thinking about this is that um, writing is not so much about, um, um, yeah, like I said, informing what you're, what you're doing, but in a sense that Writing is, is, is very much uh, directed at, um, at, the, at the kind of language, the, the concepts that are already integrated in your, uh, your practice, architectural practice, uh, in, and, the <coughs> and that are somehow inadequate. So it's opened up in that sense. Um, uh, another reference uh, in this, this early stage of the presentation to Deleuze to, uh, to Over is, is the uh, is the uh, Bergsonism book, or the book on, on Bergson, and then his, uh, his talk about the intuitive method, which um, uh, is, is a, a pretty rigorous uh, idea about a method, but uh, not a method in the sense that it um, informs you what to do. Uh, the productive element of method is rather destructive in a sense, uh, like uh, Catherine just talked about, uh, in the sense that it is um, a kind of destructive uh, methodology aimed at uh, inadequate uh, concepts uh, with the, um, with the uh, uh, ambition or aim of, of uh, producing new, inventing new concepts. And um, it has a, a number of, of, um, of uh, steps. And one of them deals with the, uh, the states of the problem where he uh, distinguishes between uh, a, uh, a problem, a process that is problem solving in which the idea is that the solution is uh, somehow the, 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 the contribution or the new, um, which is an illusion, uh, according to him. Um, it is rather about the inventing the, the actual problem. And um, in this, um, uh, to, to this, in, in, in this, in this sense, um, uh, the, uh, the, the, the making of the, the making of front and models. I shift uh, focus away from treating media as means uh, and they become the objects of, of inquiry in themselves. Um, the, uh, the, the model on, on the right is a, um, a small model that uh, serves a kind of double purpose um, of both being a kind of scale model of a campus uh, and on the other hand uh, a kind of game board um, with, with some of the uh, where some of the, the, um, the elements in, the, uh, in my uh, research project is, is somehow present. Um, I, I think the, um, uh, the, the, process, the, the project I'm, I'm going to present to you uh, uh, 
now um, uh, deals with um, somehow with, with trying to understand the, the characteristics of uh, an academy. Uh, it's not so much, it does consist of a whole series of drawings and models, but it's not so much about um, uh, making an actual proposal, uh, although it, it can be seen uh, as that to some extent anyway. It is also about um, uh, confronting or critically thinking about uh, the, some, a lot, some of the language that, um, that uh, informs the way uh, the academy is, uh, and I'm thinking about my own academy uh, in Copenhagen, is uh, understood, developed and administered um, as it is right now. Uh, there is, a, like so many other places, an, an, an ongoing development, I think, um, with a, a kind of a, a language of management um, that moves away from the academy in the direction of a company um, and uh, slowly, gradually changes um, uh, the academy <coughs> in that direction. Um, the campus is, uh, being a place of synergy is, is a, 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 a typical or good example of that. Um, but the, and then the, then the, the, uh, uh, the aim of, 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 of this research project is, uh, is also to, to sketch uh, different diagrams of how this um, uh, development can be understood and then perhaps to think about what a relevant uh, a diagram for the academy institution might be. Um, I'm just going to show a few images of some of the things I'm doing. Um, it's uh, just to show that, that uh, some, of, some of the, the models I'm making are as a kind of workshop um, element. Um, they are done uh, alongside writing about certain issues. Uh, the, the things you just saw was, uh, had to do with the workshop and, and the role of technique in, in a process. Uh, some of these uh, images are um, have to do with uh, the idea of the archive. Um, in a sense, um, also the, the idea that you will somehow construct a certain kind of uh, environment, the idea of beginning as a, a simple operation, uh, perhaps beginning, this idea that beginning is already in something and that you somehow um, orchestrate a certain uh, uh, environment of, of, of material in which you work so that the, uh, the actual beginning is, is, is uh, perhaps quite simple. Um, um, again, getting away from any kind of linearity of the process. Um, a couple of, um, of uh, smaller models, uh, more abstract models of uh, administration buildings. Um, uh, slowly starting to assemble some of them in, 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 uh, in larger uh, assemblages, um, collages of different fragments, uh, all somehow variations of some of the smaller models uh, present in the initial game board uh, model, uh, the small campus model, uh, and all having a kind of uh, double, um, I think double uh, element in the sense that um, uh, they have both, have both have some kind of narrative element and a kind of uh, programmatic element uh, connected to them. Uh, the, perhaps the, the central uh, problematic of all of this is, is this really fundamental uh, architectural problematic of, of spatial organization versus uh, life and the way that life forms habits are somehow produced in between the two. Um, so departing from my idea that there is really an essential difference between the two, obviously. Um, and how this would somehow manifest itself in the idea of the institution or ca academy institution. Um, and um, I think that um, you might ask yourself, what, what is what is there a specific kind of awareness and focus that that comes from uh, working in an artistic research project rather than a normal research project? If such a one effect exists, um, and I think that one of the things that are important in this uh, or uh, has or in, becomes a, a kind of focus in this uh, has to do with the. Um, with a kind of ethical dimension uh, or a relationship between a fiction and, and, and ethics in relation to program and, and morals. Um, as you, um, you, uh, you develop these things, obviously there's a kind of narrative connected to it. Uh, on one level there's this kind of collage of, of fragments that look, uh, uh, this assemble different uh, elements, different building structures. Um, on, one, on one level, this fiction, this narrative is quite different from the programmatic one. They are, in a sense, uh, very different ways of 
thinking, uh, talking and writing about the same thing. Um, the narrative has many aspects. I think one is to have directed much of the building. There's, there's a bit of the collage of fragments. There's really a way of thinking about the build to form. Um, the, the other one uh, holds, uh, is, is perhaps um, uh, centered rather about the idea of the, the building as a kind of apparatus. Not necessarily in, in a kind of delusion sense of the word, but simply as something that produces something. It could, in, in, in itself, it could be seen as a flow of energy, but in, in this, uh, just a very slow flow of energy, perhaps. Uh, but it, but it, it could also, uh, in this in this respect, I think it's also about the, the flow of, of energy and in, in the or distribution of energy in the form of life. So that this uh, the, this narrative somehow operates across this. Um, this difference between uh, thinking about the built form, the form itself, and the, uh, and the spatial practice somehow uh, developed, um, that, or that somehow takes place uh, in this uh, organized organization of space. So the narrative is not simply a, I think, a aesthetic in a simple sense of the, uh, the, the word, or, um, or in a narrow sense of the word, it is an, an integrated part of the, uh, the total sort of reflection uh, on, on this uh, fundamental relationship. Uh, I think uh, perhaps uh, if you were to make a small diagram of how these things uh, operate, I think that a lot of architectural processes will somehow um, start with the uh, invention of, creation of, perhaps selection of an, a kind of abstract subject uh, that the, the, the process will somehow measure itself in relation to. And perhaps that would operate uh, along the, the right uh, uh, axis, uh, program moral uh, axis, uh, and also on, on this, in this idea of the program solving element. And the, on the other end, um, you always construct a kind of narrative, a kind of fiction, that is, um, that is constructs a kind of possible world that uh, somehow rewrites the program. And this, uh, I think this possible world, or this fiction, uh, thinks about life in a different manner, but rather as a kind of indeterminate uh, entity, uh, something that is um, slightly different from uh, the moral aspect of it. Together, I think you can never obviously sort of leave this, uh, this, uh, these different elements in the process, so it's not really about saying that one is good or one is bad, it's just to say that there, that there might be sort of these different agents in it, and that these uh, different agents in it uh, uh, sort of influence each other, each other in, in, in different manners. Um, the uh, the next models are somehow pick up on, uh, on that track. These uh, is a small uh, glass model of uh, the uh, the largest kind of tower structure. Uh, this is a uh, kind of well, another glass model, a set of more sort of di diagrammatic plans uh, investigating the kind of different kind of opening and closing. Uh, the, this matrix uh, of rooms, uh, stacking of rooms, uh, uh, envisioned as kind of um, study cell, a study room. Uh, another set of um, uh, drawings were a kind of uh, blottings um, uh, made uh, from imprints um, that were gradually developed into different plans, um, made from the idea that you would sort of start to uh, to. Uh, to sort of plot out or destroy the center of, of the, the drawing and start um, developing the periphery or introducing other structures within the uh, in the uh, sort of uh, in the field that you initially uh, made uh, still within this idea of, of trying to postpone the um, the, uh, the point uh, at which you would um, perhaps um, try to subdivide space with a, a certain uh, agenda uh, some of these uh, drawings were then uh, taken a bit further into uh, more traditional uh, plans. This, this one is a kind of early plan for a, 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 one of the pavilions uh, I just uh, showed you. And this is a uh, kind of an, an early, it's like a diagrammatic um, plan of something that might be a kind of uh, exhibition uh, space. Um, the, uh, the kind of uh, organic structure was uh, on the floor, was uh, thought of as a kind of um, to get back to the initial um, diagram, um, the, uh, the, uh, and, and perhaps in, a, in a, an attempt to talk a bit about how this uh, artistic research project 
and these kind of double uh, loops, uh, how they, 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 uh, they unfold. Uh, obviously, it, it's not, not as simple to say that there would simply be kind of two easily identifiable material uh, levels within a, a process. Each one uh, uh, are, are quite often uh, 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 many, or, or, or at least more than one. Uh, as there are many kind of visual formations, many uh, different ways of, of, of drawing, modeling on one hand, and on the other, other hand, uh, different ways uh, of writing, uh, different uh, writing practices. Uh, but in any case, I think it's, to me, still quite important to, to avoid the, the idea that you could somehow operate, uh, or should somehow try to operate uh, in a kind of middle form in between the two. I think, uh, in a sense, knowledge it is really a kind of map of the different thresholds between the different practices that you somehow um, uh, use within the, uh, the, in the uh, research practice and um, as a whole. And they, uh, they uh, take on different um, roles within the overall uh, practice, which is by defini definition uh, heterogeneous. In other words, I think that uh, you could uh, you could envision uh, scientific practices uh, integrated in order to understand some of the processes, functions uh, that you are working with. Uh, philosophical practices take on different uh, uh, roles. They might be about a challenge in the, uh, the, the the conceptual level that already integrated within architectural practice. Etc. Etc. I think poetic language takes on again, again yet another level, um, and and so the the uh, what you are looking at is really I think trying to orchestrate the the different kind of practices that is relevant in order to the uh, particular problematic at hand. Uh, so what you need to do is really to develop a kind of style of how these are, are distributed and, and employed in relation to each other. Um, I'd just uh, like to finish off by showing a few diagrams. Uh, I'm not trying to make a stu stupid uh, polemic uh, remark uh, about the academy, but um, uh, I, just, uh, I just wanted to borrow this uh, diagram from, again, from the, the Foucault book uh, by Deleuze, in which he, um, he, 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 he uh, sketches a kind of diagram between the visible and the articulable, saying that um, the invisible is not the substance uh, of the articulable, uh, rather, there's a kind of substance form relationship on either side of the visible and the articulable. Uh, and he uh, mentions this um, very well known indeed uh, panopticon uh, example, saying that the inmates and, and the prison, that the inmates become the substance of the prison, the form, the prison, the form of the, the for the inmates on one hand, and delinquency and the penal code um, have the same kind of substance form relationship on the side of the articulable. So they somehow operate in relationship to each other. I think if, if you were to, to make a similar, um, or use the diagram, uh, not simply to compare it with the prison, but simply just to, to, uh, to, to, wonder, to ask yourself how this, this works today within the academy, uh, or uh, as it is in the kind of current development that is going right now, I think it's, um, there's, there's this idea of obviously of students, uh, and also, I think students as a kind of um, not not really a kind of homogeneous mass, but nevertheless, uh, they are all students. They are not uh, somehow allowed to be break up to break up into smaller groups that may invent names for themselves, so to speak. So the campus is not a really not so much a battleground as it is rather a kind of a, a vehicle for synergy uh, of. Um, so, so meetings are, and encounters are always thought of as something that needs to be productive, obviously. Uh, and obviously, they need to be productive for the, the greater good of society, the innovative economy, etc. Uh, and so the, on the side of the articulable, the way we think, the way we talk, the way we write about this, uh, you could perhaps uh, offer many uh, definitions of that, but one might be that the, uh, uh, the substance of all of this has to do with competence. Because competence is different from, for instance, technique, uh, in the sense that competence is movable. It is, um, if once you have a competence, 
you are not bound to a specific material and spatial practice. You are believed to be able to uh, move that competence across different practices. And that's essential in order for, for, uh, for people to be able to engage in a whole set of different uh, uh, aspects um, uh, in society. So pedagogy takes on a certain role. Uh, pedagogy is not by definition uh, connected to competence, of course, but I think it is in this specific uh, way of, of talking about it. Um, if you were to, this is, this is in a sense unavoidable, I think, uh, but if you were to, to uh, suggest a different uh, diagram that might uh, sort of challenge the other one, uh, and you might, um, uh, that you might uh, operate both as an educator and an administrator, etc., um, uh, within the academy, uh, one suggestion might be this. Um, again, there could be other suggestions, and I, I could also replace some of the words, I think. But um, one would be that the, um, that the, the students will form these packs. Um, this is the, the word mode, um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it in English, which means the small kind of uh, uh, unruly uh, mass uh, of a group of people. And the academy would, would obviously consist of, of this, this kind of uh, 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 different kind of uh, smaller groups, each following their own agenda or or within the overall frame. And on the, on the other side of it, in the, in, the, in the articulable, you could write poetics, I suppose, instead of intuitive method. But intuitive method in this respect would have a, uh, the, would take on the role of a kind of critical uh, uh, role um, with respect to the kind of prevailing language that uh, the other diagram that I just showed, showed you uh, works uh, through. And the um, the substance of this would be different, I think. Okay. So then I would say one or two questions. If there are any. Could you show the previous diagram on this one? The previous one? Yeah. <coughs> this one? Yes. This is kind of like the what you're saying, how it's how it is or how it is perceived, and the next one is what you propose as a different way of seeing it. Um, no, it's a really, I think it's a kind of toolbox for myself uh, in the sense that um, I'm not saying that this this one I'm, I'm suggesting with the uh, this, this diagram is, is the way it's actually talked about in the kind of conscious uh, there's a general agreement upon it, um, but um, I think it's. Um, the way I read it and way the way I understand it, um, I think this this seems to me to be a, a kind of prevailing way of understanding um, what the school is, is all about. Um, it is about if we if we are producing something, which is obviously a kind of way of talking about this increasingly um, prominent. Uh, we are producing we're producing students. Uh, but in a sense, perhaps we are primarily, primarily producing competences. Uh, that's our sort of main goal. And the thing we, we are not an art academy because we are there to produce art. That's something people say a lot of times. We are there to educate. So the, the sort of, our, our sort of main uh, job is, has to do with pedagogy. And this pedagogy has to do with creating competences. Um, I would say that that's um, to me a strange way of, of uh, talking about it because how could you possibly, in a sense, um, uh, how could you possibly teach artistic processes if you're not somehow making art? Because those artistic processes uh, have unfold uh, uh, in different manners than other processes. So you cannot really avoid this um, uh, this artistic element. But I, I think it's. And at least in my in my understanding of it, it's it's a kind a way of, of a kind of a lens to look at the discourse, the way it, it, it unfolds and changes the, the place. And the other one is trying to hang on to the next one is perhaps trying to hang on to some of the the virtues that I would think were um, important for uh, the academy. 
And I'm not necessarily saying that one is good and the other is bad, or that one is, uh, it's not, a, not necessarily that relationship. Because um, uh, the other one might uh, very well suggest important things to uh, deal with uh, as an institution. Uh, but uh, I think you need somehow to, to balance it. I think the school has uh, underwent a, uh, undergone a, a change from uh, an academy that were, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, to a large extent, much more introverted uh, a few years ago. Uh, and now it's challenged to, to sort of kind of step up to its, uh, to its uh, task in society, etc. Uh, but I think, sadly, this is not necessarily by re-articulating some of the virtues that are academic. It, it seems to be, to a large extent, by, by substituting them for other ways of, uh, of looking at uh, the place. Turning it gradually, I think, more into a school, more into, uh, to some extent, into a kind of company. So I think to me that it was a uh, kind of necessity to, to try and, 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 and uh, understand these different um, uh, mechanisms, I suppose. So my interpretation is that um, the second diagram which shows... Actually, this one? No, the, the, the middle diagram. It's actually quite a precise um, description of the neoliberal condition we are in. Because what um, justifies the school nowadays are numbers. Numbers that you can show with politicians, and the politicians decide to finance the school. It's not electricity quality. Mm. It's actually the number of students that find a job after getting out of university. Exactly, yeah. So if you go to the first diagram, it's evident that the second diagram is wrong well, well, in a certain sense. The first, the football diagram. Because, this one? yes, yeah. the inmates get into prison because they're because of their delinquency. Mm. And the students get into school because of their incompetence. <laughs> right? Yeah. There's, there's a you know a, a lack in the logic the translation. So the second diagram describes a different situation, mm. the neoliberal condition. Mm. And the third in a way is is like a counter move that tries to find you know, how can we deal with that neoliberal condition? Mm -hmm. So we, what we bring in is, is not the competence of being an artist, but it's the competence of being subversive, say, of dealing, mm -hmm. for example, but of dealing with the condition in a way that goes against that condition. Mm -hmm. I think we have to, to wrap it up here. Yes. And, um,